If you just started modeling in Revit, you may be concerned about how long it takes to get results, or even if certain results are even possible. Even those of us who have used Revit for a few years still get stuck to a few occasional hangups. In this video, I tell you five tricks that I use to boost my Revit productivity that will supercharge your Revit modeling too. Hi, I'm Brandon, founder and architect in residence with I Am The Studio. And today I'll give you the lowdown on Revit, how to make even better models and be more effective in your Revit productivity. A little background about myself, I've used Revit for over a decade, but on major projects only in the last five years, which includes university buildings, churches, community centers, and of course houses. Here's tip number one, build your skill with generic model families. Generic models and any other specific model families in Revit are a game changer if you know how to use them right. Your modeling will go much more smoother with multiple projects when you use a similar library of families. Uh, being able to work with these families and have tighter control of the attributes gives you the best quality drawings and renderings to your taste. To get better with generic models, you will need to, uh, to be a lot simpler than Revit models generally. It can take some time getting used to, but you'll see a link to form to a motion form tutorial on generic families and links if you need help here. Tip number two, understand and know when and what to use for model place components. Uh, these are things that can be used in face of generic plan families in your project, uh, but also can work on things like ceilings and walls. Now, for instance, if you wanted to create a custom shape wall, but needed to work and present like a wall, you can really add to your model by creating a model place wall. I've used model place wall commonly with cabinetry, and I include a link to Mushroom tutorial for helping with that. However, model in place has so much more potential to any family type. To improve your model in place skills, it's good to start a model in place component and check the specific attributes you know uh, for what you're trying to work with, and you'll help it for whichever view you're working with as well. Time spent learning and developing geometry and model in place components would definitely be worth it for your custom and high-end projects. Tip number three, utilize working views to your plus. When I started using Revit by myself, I typically was focusing on the main view. Um, however, this is not sustainable because when you're working with more than three people, it's definitely not a no-go. Uh, that's because the best method of development drawings using construction lines is with a working view. The syntax for this is to make a view and put your initials in the view name. You know, I will include a link to a video about creating browser categories if you haven't done that before. It's really helpful to be able to, for anyone to come to a model without having to dig through a thousand construction lines. In the end, this will help your workflow incredibly uh, for working by yourself and with teams. Tip number four, resident reference present geometry and models to improve your geometry. Uh, having a library of things that are already in place and working is a great thing to help you in your Revit projects. The idea is that maybe you thought that you need to create everything by yourself, but you don't. Okay, Downloading and reviewing present models either at your firm or from other sources uh, is going to help you to make such a better BIM models and know how they go together. Sometimes it may not seem intuitive how to put your BIM component together, but you know, seeing it in an existing model, even requesting a demo model from the manufacturer will help you properly place it and help you through the later stages of design. President models account for 50% of my growth in Revit, and I know it'll make a difference for you as well. Tip number five, use Revit detail families and groups with sections and more to make more comprehensive drawings. I started drafting and building uh, and wall sections uh, by hand. That's what I did in school. Uh, but now, you know, after the good old days of CAD drawing everything, now you have Revit where there's so much intelligence in your model. For instance, Revit has a great detail library set to master spec elements from CMU blocks and siding panel and machinery components in section form. Uh, what these will help you do is quickly put together an intelligent wall section. You can, of course, start with a few guidelines, maybe, you know, sketch it out, but adding these early will help you flesh out the section. And using groups will help you make that wall section, which might be at 3 eighths, match with your building section, which is at 1 eighth, maybe typically. And it will also help you to adjust to your bigger sketch and detail sections, which are at 3 quarter. Essentially, it's just like a great system to balloon or sketch out your sections quickly in plan and building sections. You can start making informed sections to collaborate and get input from engineers, consultants, and contractors to advance your current project design. This built-in way of detailed families and group organization is a great way for collaboration and building the momentum in your projects. So those are my five top techniques to boost your productivity in Revit. But at the end of the day, Revit BIM modeling is not easy, okay? There's a lot of specific knowledge that you need to make you successful. So these are tips that have transformed for me as I grew in my skills, and I hope they will help you upgrade to your Revit workflows. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Again, this has been Brandon with IM Studio. Thanks for watching. If you got a lot out of this video, give the video a like and subscribe to the IM Studio channel. If you need help with Revit, see the links for a link for my complete Revit guide. A great way to help you improve your Revit skills to a professional level. See you in the next tutorial.